My name is Andrea Huebner, and I'm a pediatric neuropsychologist at the Mayo Clinic Children's Center. So unfortunately, learning disabilities are pretty common, and in the United States, about 15% of people will have some form of a diagnosable learning disability. There are different types of learning disabilities, and this can get really confusing for parents because there are lots of different terms that are thrown around. There are actually three commonly and officially recognized learning disabilities in the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders, which is the manual that professionals will use to classify learning disabilities as well as other problems. Um, the first and most common of these is a reading disability or a reading disorder, also sometimes called dyslexia, depending on the particular characteristics that are present. And these are children who may have difficulty learning letters and numbers. They might have difficulty understanding letter and sound correspondence. So they see the letter T and they have trouble remembering that that letter T makes the T sound. Um, but even more than that, they have difficulty with blending sounds. So once they're able to understand that um, the letters like T-A-P um, have the T-A-P sound, they have difficulty blending those sounds. And we think that this is a problem in part with something called phonological memory, which is a part of the brain or a process of the brain that helps us to hold that sound information in mind. So as you might imagine, these difficulties can lead to problems with just reading single words. And they also extend to things like reading comprehension. So once a child is reading full sentences or reading paragraphs of information, they might have difficulty putting all of that together to derive meaning from what they're reading. Another characteristic of dyslexia or a reading disability is slow reading. And the reason for that is because we believe that the brains of these children are wired a little bit differently so that they just don't have the same automatic processes that typical readers will have. So it takes them a little bit longer to get through printed text and that kind of processing is just more laborious for them. Another type of learning disability is a math disability. It's sometimes called dyscalculia. Um, this is a problem with processing numerical information. Typically, we see children who have difficulty recognizing numbers, but they also have difficulty with things like learning math facts or memorizing math facts. They have trouble with different kinds of computation and also with math story problems. There's another category of learning disabilities that are commonly referred to as writing disorders. Um, another term is disorder of written expression. Sometimes people will call this dysgraphia. There's quite a bit of variability in this particular category. Um, some children will have difficulty simply with the act of handwriting, so it's very difficult for them to make the writing movements necessary in order to get thoughts down on paper. But other children have difficulty with the mechanics of writing, like capitalization or punctuation or spelling, um, and then also problems with writing content. So they can have maybe the words and the ideas in their brains, but they have trouble organizing them and getting them out on paper efficiently. There are other learning problems that children can have that are not necessarily formally classified, but children can have them nonetheless. Um, there's one category called nonverbal learning disability or nonverbal learning disorder. Um, we think that children who have these difficulties um, struggle with what we would consider to be right hemisphere functions, so things like visual spatial skills, math abilities, also with um, global processing of information. They may have difficulty with fine and gross motor skills and also with math. Um, in contrast, they might have of particular strengths and things like reading and spelling and even reading comprehension. Some children also have difficulty with executive functions. Executive functions are really a set of skills that involves generating strategies to problems, um, information processing, impulse control. They also help with emotional and behavioral regulation. And children can have difficulties with executive functions for many different reasons. Again, it's not a formally diagnosed learning disability, but it certainly can affect children's ability to learn. 